Hi guys, it's Estine here. Here at Classroom Global, we like to stay on top of everything cutting edge and rumor has it that the candidate has won the talent war. As part of your um, candidate experience, you have to go through an interview process and with everything moving into the digital space, um, we have found that a lot of um, companies like to do their interviews via digital platforms such as Zoom or Skype. We've also found that candidates tend to not prepare as well for these sorts of interviews and have actually shockingly failed a lot of these interviews and therefore we have put together some awesome tips in how to interview in the digital era. Always triple check your time. These interviews can happen across multiple time zones, so you want to make sure that your interview time is correct in your time zone. So always double check, triple check your interview time with your recruiter, go online, put it in Google, like make sure that you have the correct interview time. Confirm and download the correct software. In today's day and age, there are so many different softwares being used for interviews. So make sure that you have the correct platform downloaded on your PC and ready to go. Even go as far as making a test call with either the recruiter who approached you or perhaps a family member who will assist you um, in just testing it and making sure that your connection is good and that your application works. Wear headphones. This just ensures that you can actually hear your interviewer a lot better. It blocks out any other noise um, that is happening around you um, and it also prevents your voice from echo echoing in the background which sometimes can be a little bit frazzling or can maybe throw you off your game. Try and use a laptop or a desktop PC if at all possible. Interviewing on your phone can be a little bit awkward, especially if you're holding it at the wrong angle and it's always hard to sort of see where you're holding it. You really don't want your interviewer to be privy to your nose hairs or sinuses. Um, so the best thing to do is to make sure that you're on eye level with um, your interviewer and using a PC or a desktop um, computer will actually assist in this. Things to keep in mind when picking a location is the background noise, lighting, um, as well as a very strong internet connection. So always remember location, location, location. Research is extremely important. You want to make sure that they know that you're interested in this opportunity and that you're taking it seriously. Read up on latest news articles, visit the company's website, and if you have the interviewer's name, go and visit their LinkedIn profile. The other important research that you should be doing is on the job description and the position itself. On the JD, there will be some skills that are required. Make sure that you have upskilled yourself, make sure that you have brushed up on your knowledge on these, and any overlapping skills will be your strong points. So use those. Choosing your clothing. Make sure that you dress appropriately for your interview as well as for the position that you're interviewing for. If you're interviewing for a more senior ex position, obviously go for the power suit, which is my clothing option of choice. It not only looks good, but it also makes you feel powerful and confident. However, if you're not the power suit type, go for something similar that is clean cut, looks professional, and still feels comfortable. Prepare questions. We normally suggest that you prepare five or six questions. Keep in mind that as much as the company is interviewing you for a good fit, you are also interviewing them to make sure that it is a place you want to actually work at. So think big with regards to this. Think about education allowance, think about technical questions, career progression, anything that will show them you're interested in growing as a person. Get to breathe and to sleep. The night before, make sure you get into bed early, get a good night's sleep, and the next day, if you're into meditation, have a nice little meditation set, uh, session just before your interview. Make sure that you're calm, collected, take a deep breath, you got this. Don't forget to check your internet connection. Do this around a half an hour before your call, as a weak internet connection can actually cause disruptions to the flow of your interview, and this can throw you off your game. Remember, this is a high pressure, pressure situation, and anything can happen, so you want to eliminate any distractions or any disruptions. Be on time. Ensure that you're seated and ready to go at least 10 to 15 minutes beforehand. This will help calm your nerves and make sure that if there are any other distractions or things to be done, that you can get them done before the interview starts. 
Make sure that you turn off all your notifications on your phone. The interviewer may not be in the same room as you, but it will still be easy to see whether or not your attention is diverted and this could look as if you're disinterested or unprofessional. Better yet, just turn off your phone. Interview like a champ. Your non-verbal communication would be do not cross your arms, look at them straight in the eye, sit upright, square your shoulders and look confident. Verbally, speak clearly, speak concisely, think before you say anything and make sure that your answers are logical and enthusiastic. And to end things off, last impressions are just as important as first impressions. Make sure that you show your interest in the, the opportunity as well as thank your interviewer for their time. I know there are a lot of overlapping um, interview tips um, for normal interviews as well, so go out and conquer the world.